pushing Vision deep into the red side is going to actually be an exercise party. Tarek in the official Riot KR music video to announce that skin. Not much excitement here in the key. They were much more on form and went very equal, so. Well, Tucson's feigning aggression at level two. He shouldn't push up too far. The exhaust in on the bottom is trying to get the kill, but Tucson's going low. Doesn't have the exhaust there uh, anymore. It's not going to do enough to mitigate the damage. He flashes away, but still goes down. Score got it. Up by score, yeah, spikes it perfectly. But now TP into the bottom lane, coming through from far end. Depth and bottom way too far forward. The silence connects. Can Marin get in there? The slice and dice comes through. That's going to be the stun. Oh. That's going to be the kill. Marin takes him out. Meanwhile, in mid, Kuro goes low, but he's got the ghost. Doesn't need to pop the flash. And now Bada gets another one. by the Ash Arrow. Silence connects. Can he make it out of here? Throws down the roots. Will it be enough? No. The volley from Kramer does hit him in the end. He comes up with a kill. Two on the board now for is waiting in the brush, has the package available, but there's four members at the bottom. Pawn, he goes into the back lane to try to cut them off, but he's gonna find four members waiting for him. The, the cocoon does not connect, but the Ash Arrow does. TP comes through from Smep. No, interrupted actually in the top lane by Marin. And that's just gonna be a trade one for one. They lose their mid laner, get us a port. ATM making the sort of moves they weren't able to early in the game, and this is risky oh, to yeah, score. And the grass being on the score. Cocoon lands perfectly. Hill comes through from depth, but it's just not nearly enough. Now the chase. Repel won't connect, and a nice Zyra ultimate thrown down by Mata will pop up too. Now Shero comes in, Realm Warp straight in on top of Depth and Mata. They it. find him and they take him out. But Pawn is there to answer with a bit of damage. Mata gets popped by the good flash forward from Pawn. Does come up with the kill, and now Smep has TP down into the, or Ram down into the bottom lane. Gets on top of Kuro, comes up with one, but Marin slicing and dicing his way to a kill on to Pawn. Helps equalize the count. Gonna be several kills picked up. Offensive round warps. Ryan ends up trying to flash for oh, Telmo to spirit. spirit. Walking forward, Smeb and Mata find him. Nethergrass comes down onto the Maokai. Still very tanky, but now Depth arrives on the backside. Throws out the chain of corruption. They lock up Tucson, who should be going down. Marin's here. Yeah, Marin arrives, and Mata is going low. Has those Malefic Visions. Marin gets locked up, however, and there's just too many members of KT Rolster. They stomp him out. They get rid of Spirit, and now Kramer Arrow comes out, Depth, really nice cleanse, almost immediately takes that one out. Spirit, oh, oh gets hit by the piercing arrow straight into the rocket from Pawn, and they take him out. Koro going low, has to flash to the other side of the turret, which is going to go down. Marn coming in, but he's just going to get rooted. Might just lose the Guardian Angel right here, and he will. Slice and dice his forward once, can't get the second cast off. Can they finish him off? It's going to be the question. They root him right there with a twisted advance. Smeb will pay for it with his life, but that could lead to yet another turn going down in favor of KT Roll. KT want to forward. stop these recalls. Kramer all alone to the jump over the wall. There we go. Big burst of damage. Cocoon connects. The QSS comes through and Pawn finds the kill. Can they get more? Kuro getting spotted out. Now Smeb coming in on the backside. Locks him down. The Realm Warp won't connect in time. And they get two picks. And you can be damn sure KT are going to go straight back to that Baron yet again. A decisive call to stop the recalls. Only one went through. That meant the rest of the damage dealers are going to be free food. Smeb can tank up this Baron for days. And well, good luck, Spirit. You're gonna need it. Needs the Miracle Steel, has the wards in the pit, can see the HP, but might be a bit of a suicide mission. Meanwhile, speaking of that, Marin comes in on the sidelines. No one else from a Freak of Freaks following no up. Wards. He, he does have down. vision here. Spirit is patiently waiting this one out, but he's gonna get locked down. They pop him over the wall. Beautiful play by Mata, just get the root. And everybody turns on to him. That's going to be the Baron picked up for KT. That's going to be a 7,000 gold lead. It looks like he will pop the QSS, but the turn falls all the same. And now KT looking to break the inhibitor line here at 28 minutes. Pawn has a hell of a lot of damage with that Triforce. And will be able to knock this down. How much more can they get? How much more can Freak of Freaks dry inside their base? They're running out of Hail Marys. Uh, maybe a Realm Warp, but I think that would just be a suicide journey. The Ash Arrow has been on cooldown for the last bit. So it has been an option for them. They'll come back in future patches. So people have been playing around with it. Third and final inhibitor goes down. Will we see the final fight here from Afrika? Oh, looks like Smeb wants to say yes. Goes in on Decora, but the Nethergrass immediately comes out. Kramer just firing away with the volleys. Will be able to pop the GA. Marin as well. One final auto attack by Mata. Able to get rid of his. Tucson eats that piercing arrow. Goes low, but will be able to retreat. But Koro cannot say the same. The rise goes down. Three waves of super creeps getting ready to crash into the base. One Nexus hurt already down to half HP. This is looking quite done for Afrika Freaks. 
need an absolute miracle to come out on top. Varen dashing for trying to get on top of score, gets the stun, but immediately cleansed off, and they pop him in return. And with no tanky front line, a Nexus turret down, this is going to be the game. KT Rollster coming out on top as Pawn just picks up a couple kills inside the fountain. 32 minutes on the clock. Not as clean as game one, but still pretty damn good. KT, 2-1. They will continue the win streak. Yeah, congratulations to KT Rolster. Will go 4-0 after this series, but Afrika can hold their heads high. They were not stomped out. They had a very good performance in game.